Why did Ellen Pompeo almost reject the role of Meredith Grey? Which cast members almost played different roles? And who met her husband on set? Hi, I'm Dylan, and you're watching Asa. Let's get started. Ellen Pompeo as Meredith Grey. How many actresses do you think fought for the role of the one and only Meredith Grey? Well, not many. In fact, Ellen Pompeo was offered the part from the beginning, yet she didn't immediately grab the opportunity. But why? Let's go back to the beginning. Early in her career, Pompeo landed a few small movie and TV roles, guest starring twice in Law and & Order and even once in an episode of Friends. Yet she didn't hit the big time until 2002, when she starred alongside Jake Gyllenhaal in the critically acclaimed film Moonlight Mile. The studio behind the movie later produced Grey's Anatomy and always knew who they wanted to be their leading lady. Yet Pompeo initially wasn't too interested in joining the show that later made her one of the world's highest paid TV actresses. She decided to rather meet with execs about possibly acting in Alias or another spy show they had in development. Pompeo actually hated medical shows, but eventually decided to take the part on Grey's as she needed the money. She told TV Guide, The studio really wanted me to do Grey's instead. I wanted to do the Secret Service pilot that didn't go, of course, me and my brilliant choices. I read Grey's and I went and met Shonda and I decided to come on and do this. It was just an invitation and I happily accepted. But who could have been Meredith if Pompeo had refused the role? The top contender was Amanda Foreman, who's best known for her roles on TV series including Felicity, Alias, and Awkward. When she found out the role of Meredith had already been cast, she tried out for the part of Christina. While Foreman definitely wasn't meant to be Meredith or Christina, she did later guest star on season 7 on the show as Nora, the wife of a man who lost both his arms in a logging accident. Sandra O oh as Christina Yang Can you believe that Sandra O oh initially auditioned for the role of Miranda Bailey? Even O oh herself can't imagine anyone else playing that role as well as Chandra Wilson. Recalling the incident, she said, I played Bailey completely different than Chandra Wilson did. The character of Bailey didn't resonate with me. I asked what else was available and the part of Christina was not yet cast. It's great. It's an antagonist, you get a good sense of who she is, she's very ambitious. I thought it would be great to play. Yet O oh was very nervous for her Christina audition, so series creator Shonda Rhimes helped her relax. O oh simply read through the scene for Rhymes and two colleagues a few times before doing a formal audition for the studio. I don't know how many days later, they offered me the part. It was amazing. I auditioned for the right people, she said. O oh wasn't the only cast member who initially auditioned for a different role. Who else landed up playing a different part to the one they auditioned for? Keep watching. Chandra Wilson as Miranda Bailey No one could have pulled off the character of no-nonsense Miranda Bailey like Chandra Wilson. Yet initially, the actress was convinced she'd never get the role. In fact, she thought the most she'd get out of her Grey's audition was a free trip to LA. She was almost right. Although Grey's Anatomy famously used a colorblind casting technique to ensure diversity, Rhymes had just one race specification. Miranda Bailey had to be white. The series creator wanted a short blonde woman with a fierce personality. Kristen Chenoweth, now best known for pushing daisies and glee, seemed to fit the bill. But when casting director Linda Lowy saw Wilson's taped audition, she knew they'd found their Bailey. I didn't see anything other than the character, Lowy told Variety. I took it out of the machine, it was a VHS tape then, and I walked down to Shonda's office and I said, you have to look at this. We were both flabbergasted. So they invited Wilson to come and audition in person. But the actress had no idea how much they'd loved her tape. It was one of those, I have absolutely nothing to lose kind of auditions, she said. It finally went down to Wilson and one other actress. When Wilson was told to take charge more in the final round of auditions, that's what she did. It must have worked because the next day, she got the role. Over 15 years later, she's still Miranda Bailey, who now rules Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital with an iron fist and a giant heart. Justin Chambers as Alex Karev Did you know that the pilot episode of Grey's Anatomy was shot a year before it actually aired? In that time, producers played around with the show and decided they needed another male character. Enter Alex Karev. Reflecting on how he got the role of Alex, Chambers said, I had done a pilot for ABC that didn't get picked up. They liked what I did in that, and they brought me in to do a screen test with Ellen. I guess they felt they needed a jerk, so they brought in this jerk. It worked out. Alex would be proud of that matter-of-fact explanation. Fun fact. The unsuccessful pilot Chambers did was for Secret Service, the same show that Pompeo almost chose instead of Grey's. After he was cast, Chambers' scenes had to be digitally inserted into the pilot episode. Having played a role that almost didn't exist for over 15 years, Chambers is considered to be one of the luckiest actors in TV history. 
In early 2020, he exited the Grey's Anatomy cast just as suddenly as he entered, which, when you think about it, makes a weird kind of sense. Moving on to Chambers' on-screen love, Camilla Luddington as Joe Karev. Camilla Luddington actually missed her Grey's Anatomy audition altogether. At the time, she voiced and motioned Laura Croft for the Tomb Raider video games. She couldn't attend the audition because she was promoting Tomb Raider at Comic-Con. Shonda had a pilot called Gitted Lilies that I tested for, so I knew Shonda a few months before. I heard that Shonda had wanted me to come in for Grey's, but I couldn't make it, she recalled. But the team didn't find their Joe immediately, so they invited Luddington to audition a few days later. She was hired two days later and was on set by the end of the week. Luddington, who's actually British, auditioned in both a British and American accent, and initially wasn't sure what accent she'd been hired to play the role in. James Pickens Jr. as Richard Webber Luddington wasn't the show's only quick casting. In what must be one of the most successful callback auditions ever, James Pickens Jr. was basically hired on the spot. While he was the only actor called back to audition for the role of Richard Webber, the actor was still shocked and thrilled by what happened next. After performing the scene from the pilot episode where Richard tells the interns that most of them won't make it, the actor was asked to step out of the room. Just minutes later, he re-entered. Pickens Jr. recalls, I came back in and director Peter Horton said, well, what are you doing for the next five years or so? Do you want to have this role? I said, oh my god, yes. It turned out to be quite a bit longer than that. His character Richard even discovered his secret daughter Maggie over a decade after the show began. Kelly McCreary as Maggie Pierce Kelly McCreary played Claire Tucker in another hit Shonda Rhimes show, Political Drama Scandal. After guest starring in that show for two episodes, she was invited to audition for Rhimes' longest-running hit, Grey's Anatomy. In the beginning, McCreary was in the dark about Maggie's secret identity. Speaking to Backstage, she said, When I auditioned, all they told me was that the character might recur a little bit into season 11. They did not tell me it was Meredith's sister and there was long-term potential. I had no idea the scope of it in terms of how she fit into the mythology of the series. McCreary appeared in a couple of episodes before being appointed as a series regular in October 2014. Not only has the show been good for her career, it's also been fantastic for her love life. McCreary met her now husband, director Pete Chapman on the set. Aww. Patrick Dempsey as Derek Shepard There were many detours on the road to finding the perfect Derek Shepard, aka McDreamy. First choice Rob Lowe turned down the part that, over the years, could have earned him about $70 million. ABC wanted the part reserved for the well-known actor, but he was more interested in doing CBS show Dr. Vegas. ABC shows weren't doing too well at the time, so Lowe didn't have high hopes for Grey's. Unfortunately, Dr. Vegas was cancelled after just one season, while Grey's is set to premiere its 17th season in November. It seems Lowe picked the wrong doctor. Before being cast as Preston Burke, Isaiah Washington auditioned for the role of McDreamy. Rhymes originally wanted to explore an interracial love story, but Pompeo wasn't happy with the idea. In real life, Pompeo's husband, Chris Ivory, is African American, and the plotline just felt too close to home. Patrick Dempsey, who eventually won the role, thought Rhymes hated him. She reportedly glared at him when he auditioned. I was completely terrified. She's scary, he once said at a convention. When he later asked her why she just stared at him, she reportedly said, I was figuring out how to put you in the show. Pompeo was more clearly in Dempsey's corner, especially after he auditioned alongside her. Considering how totally McDreamy the actor truly is, who can blame her? Dempsey also enjoyed acting alongside Pompeo. Speaking of his second audition where he met the actress, he said, I met Ellen and her Boston accent lit me up because I was from Maine. So I immediately had a great connection with her. Producers saw their chemistry and one of the most heart-wrenching romances in TV history was born. Kevin McKidd as Owen Hunt Did you know that Dawson's Creek star Joshua Jackson almost played Owen Hunt? In fact, Jackson's casting in Grey's Anatomy had already been announced. Then the Hollywood writer's strike began and the show's production was put on hold. In the interim, Jackson was offered a role on Fringe and accepted, leaving Grey's before even shooting a scene. Rhymes then approached Kevin McKidd to discuss playing Owen. While it was a chance of a lifetime, McKidd said no to a meeting. Wait, what? McKidd was actually landing back in LA on the day of the proposed meeting after having been away from home for three months. Plus, it was his son's birthday, so he refused and asked his agent to explain. Recounting what happened next, McKidd said, Supposedly Shonda tells the story that her and executive producer Betsy, when they heard that, said, What a great guy. So it kind of paid off. I went and saw them the next day and we just started chatting. I didn't read for it. The two simply knew they had their man and offered McKidd the role just a few days later. Which audition story is your favorite? 
Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay awesome.